Hello dear friends, I have bought some origami paper and in all origami paper, most of them, there is uh, in, an instruction, very simple instruction. So I was following it and uh, I have done this one little box and I would like to do it with you together. Now I choose another color, red color, how about it? It's more significant. Okay. So here you have a piece of uh, origami paper. And, uh, so we will see this one is the colorful side. This is a plain side. We will do exactly like him and the colorful side pulling down. I am more of such a person, so I do this way. Put it up and then it becomes like this. And then you raise up. Here is the instruction. I see if I can uh, upload this instruction. But anyway, you put it up, but not exactly half, over the half line. How much over the half line? Actually, I have tried and made some mistake not following, and it still works. So let's say we have uh, two thirds um, in it and one third over the line. How much is about this distance over the line? Okay, and then you turn it over. Any origami is like this. You do always a symmetric. So this way you do not need to worry about how much. You just match this line. And it is important to match the line. So you fix here, you fix here, match the line, and then pull it down. And sometimes you would like to use some tool to make it easy. For example, if you have a magic wand, you use magic wand. I think I have another magic wand somewhere. Mm -mm. I cannot find it. And uh, when I find it, I will do it again. Okay, so <coughs> press it down. And now we are like this, you fold it up. Here you will see every time students make mistake and they fold. Here is one corner to fold, here is one corner to fold. Always make mistake. This is the crucial point. There are one pages folded. If there is only one page, do not fold it. Listen to me one more time. Fold it when there is there are two pieces of a paper, okay, two layers. If one layer, no, one layer, no, one more time. Two layer, yes. Fold it up, reach to this edge, just until this edge. Fold up, and here you, you, you will make mistake and make it slanted. It's not good. Make sure this line lines with a parallel this one and this line uh, vertical or perpendicular what is a zhijiao anyway in chinese so you fold up one line one, one corner and then fold to this corner okay same thing happened to the back because it's a symmetric one here one here one here, one here, okay? And then, so it becomes like this. Pull this one down and do not put it slanted. Make sure you feel everything everywhere is comfortable. And then you press it down. Here I do not feel comfortable. Then I go back a little bit. Okay, this looks nice then. And same thing happened to the back. You just take some practice. Okay, and then our box is done. Open it up. It's quite hard to imagine that this is already a box. It's very hard to imagine, but this is. So, open it up. Open, open, and on this side, you open. I'm not doing very well, but uh, this is how it is supposed to be. Press it down a little bit. And this side, press down a little bit. 
And this is a box. This is a box. It's not very good. We'll fix a little bit. And this paper is particularly a little bit too soft for this product. Use a little bit harder paper. Or another way, you can make some decoration. Tape it and then put a flower on it or put some another layer of paper on it. So, let me try another harder paper. See if this one is harder. All the students like like uh, um, <coughs> red color, so I use this ugly looking paper, not so pretty looking paper. So I will do it again. Is that too much for you? Okay, you can stop this video because I'm finishing my instruction. So here we have one piece of paper folded up. And then pull it down, pull it down halfway and not halfway, beyond halfway. How much beyond halfway? It is not a very big problem. When you see roughly, this is the same as this will be good. A little bit more, a little bit less, does not make much difference. And now you turn it over and edge to this. Am I clear enough? If you feel it is not clear, just slow it down and go back. Now this time we see two layers we folded. If we see one layer, <coughs> and it comes up different color, do not do it, okay? You see two layers come up the same color, then you fold it, then you are right. If not so, you are wrong. This one, good. Same thing happened to the back. Now you become more and more skilled and successful and more controlled and never panic. It does not help to panic. And just slowly, calmly do one fold at a time. And then you will fold up and then unfold the problem. Right? One fold at a time. Now this is like this. That is correct. Lift up a little bit. Now you can see what it is inside. It is a secret box inside. Will be. And here you fold up. Fold up. Now you need to crease it a little bit. Here the same thing happened here. Crease it down. And this one, it does not have a good shape yet. Then you press it. Voila. And here, 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 it is not so good. You can do some tiny correction. Not a big problem. Okay. okay. This is like this. We are not perfect, but, uh, but uh, so what? Right? Press it down a little bit. This might be better use just normal paper. And for this method, I believe you can use a square paper or not even square paper. paper. That's the box. So I will not take you too long time. Bye bye, friends. And uh, the next one, I will do another one. Folding a bird, folding a, a camellia. 
I have not figured out the camellia. I'll see you later. We'll try it. Little box. And put some eraser, put some little, if you cut some paper, put some little cut. Confetti or something. Bye bye. Have a good day.